Could Filipino talent be a big part of the solution to the skills shortage that the UK are currently going through? My name's Greg Holmeson from the Philippines Recruitment Company and I'm based in Australia and I've been bringing Filipino talent into Australia uh, for just over 10 years now. And I'd like to share with you just some of the reasons why this has been so successful for us um, and perhaps um, give you a better understanding on how this may well work uh, for companies in the UK who are suffering um, a, an absolutely severe skills shortage. Very, very similar to what we are suffering here in Australia right now. Um, and firstly, I think it's um, probably important to um, just share with you that we're quite mature here in Australia when it comes to bringing Filipino talent into the country. Um, it's been very different for people in the UK having access to Europe um, and the talent that they've been able to bring in from Europe. Um, of course, Brexit has changed everything there as well as COVID. Now, we don't have Brexit, but we've had the implications of what COVID has done to us um, and has severely um, leveraged up our skills shortage. But, but back to Filipino talent, and it's, it's one of those things now, as I've said, we're quite mature in this space. Um, and I, I'm not sure what it is, but, but our immigration program, very similar to yours, um, uh, allows us to bring people in from any other nationality. Um, and we do tend to, in certain categories, when it comes to you know, real workers, solid workers that are required, and we, you know, we, we talk a lot about uh, mechanics, diesel mechanics, light vehicle mechanics, truck mechanics, you know, welders and fabricators, machinists, all the metal trades. Uh, chefs and cooks have been a massive part of, of our solution to the challenges that we've had in the hospitality industry in Australia. And of course, nurses. And nurses going to the UK is quite a mature program, but not so the other trades. Now, why is it so successful? And, um, you know, in Australia, I've got to also share that it costs about £10,000 to bring someone through our migration process into Australia. And there's absolutely no guarantee that that person has to stay with the employer. But we actually provide a guarantee that they will. And it is basically through, I think it's through the value system that the Filipino workers have. And they do have this sense of loyalty and indebtedness. Um, and they're doing this for a, a much greater cause and it's quite selfless. It's not for them they're doing it for, it's actually their family. And um, you know, a big part of that is for them to just literally stay you know, head down, work hard, you know, earn as much money as they can and send that money home. To the Philippines, um, and when I first started the business, I was where, where possible picking as many candidates as I could up from the airport. Um, and I used to joke um, that you know by the time I got to the first roundabout leaving the international airport, I would get asked two questions. And what the first one would be, "Sir, will there be a church nearby?" And the second one would be, "Can I work overtime?" Um, you know, it's just, they just want to earn money um, and send it home. And, you know, Christian values, you know, very strong Catholics. Um, and that's just a big part of their culture. And I, I also believe that that helps Filipinos um, assimilate into our country as they would also the UK. But again, Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment Company, uh, you know, Filipinos have made a massive difference uh, to so many of our clients that it has just changed their world, given the ability to find reliable um, staff that just turn up every day, they work hard. I've got so many stories about um, how they don't take sick days. You know, it's almost like they've got to send someone home if they're sick. And, you know, stories of people that have had Filipinos for six years and none of them uh, ever had a sick day. So there's so much there to talk about. I'm very happy to be open to this conversation. Uh, please shoot back a message, you know, anything at all. I just would love to be able to share our experience that we've had um, to see if that's something that could also suit many companies in the UK. Again, Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment Company. Thanks for listening.